life gives turkey lemons, it makes fifth-generation fighters out of them. Evicted from the $400 billion F-35 fighter program, Turkey went solo and built the Khan, the fifth fifth-generation fighter of the world, and one that promises to rival the F-35. Two weeks ago, Khan took to the skies for the first time, making Turkey only the fourth nation ever to achieve such a feat, and making headlines around the world. On February 21st, 2024, Khan conducted its maiden flight. Piloted by test pilot Barbados Demirbas, the fighter took off from the Murted Airfield Command in North Ankara, flew to an altitude of 8,000 feet and a top speed of 230 knots. After 13 minutes of flight, it landed back at the same airfield and concluded a successful test flight. The test put Turkey among an elite group of nations that have dared and managed to successfully fly a functional fifth-generation fighter jet. Prior to Turkey's addition, this group only consisted of the US, Russia, and China, the top three world powers all powered by trillion-dollar economies. Turkey managing to build and fly the Khan was therefore major news around the world. The maiden flight made headlines in Azerbaijan, Georgia, Libya, Pakistan, India, Japan, Canada, the United Kingdom, China, Russia, and of course, the United States. Home to Khan's closest rival, the F-35. This is another Hollywood story of friends to foe. The Khan program was launched in 2016 to produce a fighter that would replace Turkey's F-16 Fighting Falcon and fly alongside the F-35. Turkey was a key member of the alliance producing the F-35 only a few years ago, with massive Turkish facilities built specifically for the aircraft. In 2019, this came crashing down from Turkey's point of view. The relationship between Turkey and the United States began to have cracks in it. The cracks got unforgivably wide when Turkey purchased Russia's S-400 Triumph air defense system, thus violating the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. Turkey was kicked out of the F-35 development program as a result, so the Turkish fighter originally built to fly alongside the F-35 in Turkey's fleet now had to not only be the F-35, but be better than it. As a result, Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI for short, which is Turkey's main defense arm, partnered with BAE Systems, the largest defense contractor in Europe, to build a new Khan fighter that effortlessly wields the most battle-deciding capabilities. The TAI Khan is a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather, air superiority fighter built to operate in the Turkish Air Force and interested air forces around the world. The world's latest fifth-generation fighter, it would exploit recent technologies to wield more capabilities than its preceding generation mates do, along with the capabilities expected of it as a lethal fighter meant to dominate the skies. These capabilities include Design The Khan has a design that reflects the decade of work put into it. The airframe is chiseled to be so aerodynamic, it cuts through the air like a knife through butter. Being a fifth-generation fighter, its design is also optimized for low-radar cross-section. Therefore, the fighter is decisively stealthy. This means it is invisible, or as close to it as can be, to enemy radars as it flies into enemy airspace to execute its mission. This stealth comes from the airframe design able to deflect radar waves, radar-absorbing material coating that absorbs stubborn radar waves that remain, internal weapons bays that ensure the fighter has fewer protruding parts that can reflect radar waves, and so on. TAI's Advanced Carbon Composites Fuselage Facility, which was commissioned to produce fuselages for the F-35 program before Turkey was evicted, was repurposed to develop an Advanced Carbon Composite Fuselage for the Khan. The composite fuselage for the Khan is in the works to be a new, lighter carbon composite thermoplastic, different from what the F-35 would have gotten. Avionics The Khan's avionics enable all of the fighter's systems to operate as one. These avionics include likely upgraded variants of Turkish defense company Aselsan's radar warning receiver, missile warning system, laser warning system, chaff and flare management, 
dispensing system, and digital radio frequency memory-based jamming system, which are already deployed with the other air platforms. This suite of avionics makes the fighter capable of intense electronic warfare, advanced navigation features, infrared search and track, electro-optical targeting, fluid human-machine interface, sensor fusion, sensor autonomy, and so much more. Such an avionics suite is the stuff of dreams for a frontline fighter like the Khan. Propulsion Turkish engine manufacturer Kale partnered with British manufacturer Rolls-Royce to build a new engine specially for the Khan. This engine, expected to enter serial production in 2028, will be more powerful than the engine currently slated for Khan prototypes and the first batch of aircraft, which is the General Electric F-110 engine. Two of these engines currently power each Khan fighter, providing a combined maximum thrust of 58,000 pounds of force with afterburner. Besides the General Electric engine and the new engine in the works, an alternative engine is also reportedly being sourced from an undisclosed nation. With the engine of choice installed on the fighter, the Khan will be capable of super cruise. It would also have a top speed as high as Mach 1.8 and a maximum altitude of 55,000 feet. Weapons what better way to achieve air superiority than with a lethal arsenal of weapons ready to strike at the push of a button? For air-to-air -air combat, the Khan will be armed with MBDA's Meteor and Mica, Raytheon's AIM-120 AMRAAM, and the locally developed Gukduan missile, as well as short-range weapons like the AIM-9X, ASRAM, and Turkey's Bozduan missile. For ground attacks, the jet will utilize a new reconnaissance pod and will be able to carry up to a 1,000-pound weapon load, including the Tubitak Sage's Sum-J cruise missile and other precision-guided munitions. In addition to these, the Khan will be accompanied by loyal wingmen connected to the Khan through encrypted data link connections. The wingmen will be capable of executing side missions such as gathering data, taking a hit for the manned fighter, or destroying targets. Turkey has no shortage of unmanned fighters capable of this role. It could be the TAI Anka, the Bayraktar TB2, the Kizilelma, and so on. Manned-unmanned teaming is a capability primarily originated for sixth-generation fighters. Yet the Khan wields it, a testament to just how much modern technology this fighter has absorbed. All of these capabilities, mouthwatering for any air force around the world, birthed a beast that could empty the skies of rival air forces and also empty the wallet of its own air force. As it stands, each TAI Khan fighter is expected to cost $100 million. An entire fleet of these fighters would easily cost many billions of dollars. But there's a possible solution. If more nations joined the TAI Khan program, the unit cost would be slashed significantly, as there's less work to do on research purposes and the majority of the funding will go directly to building the aircraft. Having this in mind, infiltrating the fighter jet export market and taking a huge piece of it is what Turkey plans to do. Pakistan and Azerbaijan are already in the conversation of potential buyers. With the capabilities the Khan boasts and the status of a fifth-generation fighter, it shouldn't be difficult to win more buying nations over. Except that it is, thanks to the sheer existence of its great rival, the American fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 Lightning II from Lockheed Martin is the world's second fifth-generation fighter jet and is generally regarded as the most intelligent fighter in history. Developing this fighter cost the Pentagon $400 billion, the most expensive weapons program to date. The ultimate multi-role fighter, the F-35 can achieve air superiority one minute and function as a battle manager the next. This versatility and effectiveness on the battlefield is thanks in large part to the following capabilities. Advanced Stealth The F-35 is one of the stealthiest aircraft in the world. Lockheed Martin designed the fighter from the ground up with low observability in mind. They aligned its edges, serrated its skin panels, and masked the engine with easy-to-maintain fiber mat skin for low observability. They also reduced infrared and visual signatures, enabled the reflection of radar waves, and used strict controls of radio frequency emitters. 
all playing their role in preventing aircraft detection and contributing to the F-35's ultra-tiny radar cross-section that's lower than that of a metal golf ball. Lethal Armament The F-35 is armed to its metallic teeth. Being a fighter that must provide top-tier close air support as it retires the legendary A-10 Warthog, the F-35 wields a 180-round 25mm GAU-22A four-barrel rotary cannon. The gun is more effective against ground targets than the 20mm cannon carried by other U.S. Air Force fighters. In terms of explosives, the F-35 is armed with up to 18,000 pounds of weapons shared across two weapon bays and external hardpoints. The weapons carried include bombs, short-range missiles, medium-range missiles, and long-range missiles that all hunt down their targets hungrily. Intelligent Avionics While the F-35's stealth and armament are impressive, it is the fighter's avionics that have really made it the household name it is today. Through its avionics, the F-35 can sense data and make sense of data at incredibly high speeds, faster than anything before it. These avionics include the AN-APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, the AN-ASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, the AN-AAQ-37 Distributed Aperture System, the AN-AAQ-40 Electro Optical Targeting System, and the AN-ASQ-242 Communications Navigation and Identification Suite. These all combine to provide rapid beam agility, multiple operational modes, all-aspect missile launch and target tracking, 10 radio frequency antennas, all-aspect radar warning receiver, self-defense against missiles, the detection and jamming of hostile radars, laser targeting, forward-looking infrared capabilities, long-range IRST functions, and an impossible level of sensor fusion that give the pilot and friendlies an omnipresent tactical picture of the battle space. 8.6 million lines of code keep these systems running. Wielding all of these capabilities, it's no wonder that the F-35 is the most widely used of all fifth-generation fighters. Over a thousand units have been built, and they are used by the air forces of 18 different nations, with that number looking to rise soon. This is the beast of a machine that Turkey's Khan is up against, both in the sky and in the export market. The Khan, impressive as it is, doesn't appear to have much of an upper hand over the American fighter aside from a greater top speed. The Khan is more expensive to purchase, newer in the scene, has a less structured logistics network, is less interoperable with the air forces of other nations, and so on. If Turkey doesn't find a way to overcome these, the Khan fighter could quickly end up like the Iranian Kahar 313, a fighter that disappears before it has a chance to fight. But the Khan fighter does show promise, and Turkey does show resolve. The future could see fleets of TAI Khan fighters dominating the skies around the world. The TAI Khan, fifth generation Turkish, the F-35 rival the world didn't know it needed. This fighter has recently taken to the skies for the first time in bright colors and wowed spectators. It could take to the skies a hundred times more if Turkey's Air Force embraces it, a thousand times more if air forces around the world take interest in it, and a million times more if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now for the TAI Con, and thanks for watching.